She's very down to earth. She's very bright. She's very perceptive. Um, and she knows what's up. Uh, she's been sheltered because of her parents and, and her title that she has. And it's sort of like she's locked in a tower a bit. But she has a body nurse who I think has taught her a few tricks along the way. And I think she's lonely. She doesn't have many friends. And so when she meets Romeo, it's just so exciting and, and wonderful. It's like a, a breath of fresh air. And everybody shares the same emotions. And we all go through similar struggles in life. And we go through the same phases. And, and, um, and that never changes. So uh, we can keep telling the same stories over and over again. And we do, because we need to keep hearing them. Well, the first scene we did <laughs> was the, the morning after scene, after we had just made love. And so there we were, shirtless. You know, it was <laughs> a way to break the ice. And Leo knew when to, uh, to loosen everybody up and, and make fun of ourselves and not have it be taken too seriously, which is really important. It keeps everybody's stamina up. He's one of the most interesting people I think I'll ever meet. He's really bright, uh, so funny. Like There would be so many moments where on the set I'd be literally hunched over and in pain because I was laughing so hard. Well, it was so wonderful to play being in love and uh, it just sometimes I, like, I remember doing the balcony scene, just having to, to reach that point where you're just so infatuated and excited, and um, I, I would immediately get, feel very high after that. So that was a trip. That was great. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, I mean, the death scenes were really hard to face.